either. Money is really the great divider in society, and it's an invention of bankers that, uh, that, that, that kind of try to give everybody something that they would use every day, but that still has an internal kind of uh, regulator thermometer, because they can control the value of that money, and they're doing it right now. They're devaluing the dollar. They're printing a lot of it, giving it to the banks, and, uh, and, and exporting these dollars around the world, and it's being devalued everywhere. There's inflation. People try to track uh, the US, follow it down uh, as it as it's prints more dollars. It's causing rights and desperation everywhere around the world, but it will also do so in the US, and it is. And, and there's a real reason uh, why you know, that shouldn't be the case, uh, and there's, let's say, the very sound logic uh, behind you doing something about it. And that is that when people express need, let's say, I, I need something, I need water because I'm thirsty, I need food because I'm hungry, they not always, and actually most of the times, uh, don't express what they need, they express what they want, what they enjoy. So I would like to have, if I go to the supermarket, I like to have milk, because I, I, I think that you know, in the morning, taste of milk is better than taste of water. I might buy, make coffee, that's what I like. I don't need it. See, and if you make a line of people, of all the people of, your, of the US, including everybody in the f that are rich and famous and whatever, on the left, you let's say on the, on, on the, on the side with the le least money, the least of those, those dollar bills that are printed every day and given to the guys on the right, there are people with real need. They are, uh, they are malnourished, they are undereducated, they are they have family dying because they cannot afford medical care. They live in uh, situations where it's polluted, or it's poisonous, or it's dangerous. It's falling apart. They're being beset them all. <laughs> you know, they're, they're being robbed in poor neighborhoods, etc., etc. And it's not because they are uh, well. Maybe some people are mentally less capable, uh, probably because of these circumstances. But they really need things. They really need things. They need justice, they need education, they need medical care, they need etc. They need to be taken care of. They need food. People with food stamps, they need food. <laughs> That's not like, uh, I don't need it, uh, give me that next week. No. If you don't give it to me now, I won't be there next week. Or uh, with food it takes a little bit longer, but anyway. While on the right side of this whole long line of, of inhabitants of, uh, of, of the US, you have people that say, I need a Ferrari, I also need a big house, I also need this and that. I need to be uh, in a dinner, because otherwise I won't imp impress th this and this and this guy. Because uh, then I won't get the contract, because I need the money to buy for the new jet that I'm trying to buy. Those are people that are not talking about what they need, but about what they want, what they desire, what they enjoy. And the irony is, of course, that these people that, that have all these, let's say, delusions of grandeur, that basically they're trying to maintain an existence of an entity uh, that, is, uh, that is completely unnecessary. That is especially if they ignore, at the same time, the people on the other side. And it's quite clear that this whole plutonomy uh, uh, idea of Citigroup is not, uh, a f let's say, a frivolous idea. That it's not a frivolous idea that, that the rich have decided that uh, they'll only protect themselves and they'll just try to get richer and richer because you can see it in the purchase of consumer goods for rich people and for poor people you can see it in their behavior you can see it in the politics you can see it in what what's being said it is an elite group that is now uh, uh, trying to get in place the infrastructure to make sure that they are in the big house and you are not in the big house but what they, when I say, they walk down the street. <laughs> Can you imagine walking down the street in New York and, Lo and like walking up into B Lloyd Blankfein and he says, Can I borrow a dollar from you? I want to buy a newspaper here. You know, you would almost say, Here, here's the dollar, buy the newspaper. Or can I borrow a cigarette? You know, you, that, that's inherent in humans because they, they like to support their, their social community. But the people with these delusions of grandeur, the people that make more than a million dollars a year, are all in a category that does not, does not need that, that does not need more. They don't need it, they want it. 
And they say, well, I need it because I'll, I won't be protected. Uh, my wealth will be uh, taxed. No, it won't. If you just make sure that nobody knows about it and it's somewhere where people can't find it, then nobody can you protect. You have made your million. You, you can live your life, but you cannot eat more, uh, uh, let's say, caviar. And, and, and it's impossible. That's all delusional. And there are real people dying in your own country. And, uh, well, as a citizen of the U.S., you should basically uh, not be allowed to uh, to have so much income uh, while you can save real lives with it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll put this audio of the Duchess uh, after this video and you'll really be, I guess, getting my point because she's so desperate. All my life I've been fighting my way upstream.